Hey, what's up everyone? Welcome back to the channel. I'm Diego. Today I'm going to be reviewing the latest Adidas Climacool Vento in the triple black colorway. Check it out. All right, so we've got a classic Adidas flip top box. Sizing details, I went with the size nines. Let's crack these things open. Whoa! <laughs> okay. Yeah. Yeah, I could get with this. Dang. These Climate Cool Ventos are something else. Let's get a better look, shall we? All right, so first impression, I gotta say, I'm a bit impressed. Um, when I first saw images of the Vento, I was a little skeptical. It looked a little bulky, especially in those lighter colorways, and the colors were a bit just too crazy for my taste, but seeing it up close, it is better in person, and the triple black colorway is my favorite. It's actually one of seven colorways to all release on June 1st. And I gotta say, it's pretty cool and different. It's Adidas' latest running shoe silhouette that they've thrown on the lineup. And I'm excited to wear these. The patterns on the side kind of remind me of gills on the side of a shark, which are the lungs of a shark, which insinuate breathing, and this being a running shoe. There's a lot of breathability happening. I don't know if that was on purpose, but I'm, that's just what I think of. And obviously, the staggered, spaced out boost on the bottom kind of reminded me of marshmallows being stepped on, especially with those lighter uh, colorways. Um, but with the black, it just looks a little more sleek. It's just a one, you know, whole looking shoe, a little less stepping on marshmallow look, which I like. And if you're wondering, vento also means wind in Italian or airflow, which is an appropriate name because this shoe is all about breathability and staying cool, being the Climacool, Cool, which first debuted in 2002. So this is exciting to get a refresh on the shoe and a brand new silhouette. So let's talk about the materials of the shoe a little bit, starting with the upper. It is made of the same summer ready line of material that Adidas has been using and it is a knitted upper that is very breathable. Now the gill-like overlays that we see in this staggered pattern over the top is made of a smooth felt that is very soft to the touch and gives it a bit of a premium feel. On the very top of the shoe, we've got flat black laces that match the whole overall look of the shoe, and I love that triple black look. And the tongue of the shoe is actually loose and separate, some people prefer that, some people prefer a sock-like upper where the tongue does not move. And of course, at the top of the tongue, we've got that very cool Climate Cool logo in a sort of iridescent blue-purple hue, and it reminds me of the color tones that came on the Ultra Boost 20s with that gray upper and that purple-blue iridescent boost that looked very cool and new. This is, uh, I think, a little hint to that whole line of colors they chose. The tongue itself is also made of a very nice cushioned mesh material that runs along top to bottom there. For a quick glance of the shoe size tag on the inside of the shoe, it is on the top part of the tongue. Moving to the tip of the toe, we've got a hard rubber plastic material here that protects your toes, and it is the same material used on the back with that heel it is sort of a one-piece heel cup that wraps around the back. And at a glance, it kind of looks like the Adidas Trefoil logo sort of being blown in the wind, which is cool. And you've also got the Adidas sports badge on the back. Moving to the midsole, we've got your boost that is for the first time sectioned off into six different segments. And like I said, when it comes in white, it looks a bit like marshmallows, but with this black sleek look, it just kind of fits the shoe better, I think. 
Now the quantity of boost is pretty decent. It is reminiscent of the Ultra Boost 19 or 20s that featured a lot more boost on the bottom. So that is nice for extra cushioning. And looking at the bottom of the shoe, we've got a nice rubber outsole in black as well that covers that boost. Now I also noticed it was very thin and also features a very cool little pattern that goes along with the segments of boost. Now it is so thin indeed that I went ahead and shined a light through the bottom of the shoe and looked at it inside the shoe and you can actually see light come through. So that I think emphasizes how lightweight and breathable this shoe is and they really stripped back the material so you get a lot of wind and breeze when you're running in these ventos. Now removing the insole, you can see that the insole is actually perforated, which I have not seen yet on an insole. And once again, uh, this is for breathability. You've got air flowing literally through the bottom of your foot, and I'm really loving that design choice. Looking inside of the shoe, I can see light shining through through that knit mesh, which just reinforces the fact that it's very thin and breathable and lightweight. Now this being Adidas' latest running shoe in the lineup, I wanted to do a quick little comparison with another great running shoe that I love and wear very often, which is the Ultra Boost 19, also copped in triple black. Now at a quick glance, the Ultra Boost 19 is gonna look a little bit bigger because I got it in a half size bigger than what I got for the Ventos. But what I really want to show is the difference of the shape of the boost that they have done here. With the Ultra Boost 19s and 20s, you had a nice swooping shape here on the boost on the bottom. And with the Ventos, it's more of a wave here that you got going on, other than the segmentation, obviously. The overall weight of both shoes is pretty identical, so that's nice. And looking at the back of the shoe, I can see where the Climate Cool Vento got a little bit of inspiration from the Ultra Boosts with this one 3D printed piece of hard plastic for the heel. And you can see that similarity here on the Ventos. The actual cup of the heel part that protects the back of your foot is very similar as well, comfortable, and it's a nice shape that really hugs the back of your heel. Now I gotta say, I'm very excited about the triple black colorway because I have gone ahead and tested this shoe very ruggedly and thoroughly. I got this shoe when it first came out in the triple black colorway and they are what I call my beaters. I wear them eight hours a day minimum, five days a week when I work my 40 hour a week job and they go through a lot and they hold up. There's only a few minor little chips in paint on the Black Boost, but overall, it's a shoe that I've been very impressed with. So that being said, I might let my Ultra Boost 19s take a breather while I let my feet take a breath with these Climate Cool Ventos for a change. So let's talk about comfort real quick. I'm gonna rate this shoe, honestly, a nine out of 10 because it's very comfortable. You've got a lot of boost cushioning. The upper material is super breathable that your foot's rarely gonna sweat in these. Now the only reason I deducted one point out of 10 was that the tongue is loose and in comparison to the Ultra Boost 19 and 20s, those have a sock-like upper and so it's never gonna move around and those really are glued to your feet where I could see this tongue, you know, shifting a little to the side. It's not a huge deal breaker for me, so it's a solid nine out of 10 overall for comfort. Let's talk about sizing real quick with these bad boys. I recommend staying true to size. A lot of shoes I've been reviewing lately, I've been going up half a size to the point where I'm starting to question what my true to size was, but this shoe reminded me that I'm a nine and I got them in nine and they fit like a glove. Uh, there's still a little bit of wiggle room on my toes and I'm really excited to go running in these. I think going under the sizes wouldn't really work and going up half a size uh, is only necessary if you've got really long feet or wide feet. But true to size, I think is the way to go. So, you love the way the Climate Cool Ventos look and you're set on one of the colorways that have come out, you're reaching for your wallet. Well, these retailed for 140 bucks on the Adidas website. And I think honestly that price point is pretty accurate. Uh, I personally used a coupon that I've been saving up so I brought them down 20 bucks in price, which I think was even better. And if you're not too picky with the colors, I really would recommend that 
you be patient and maybe wait until Adidas has their next sale because I'm sure these will come down in price as everything does and that would be a real big come up. The price point is pushing it a little only because you know they've stripped down on materials, it's very thin, it's all breathable and it's not really emphasis on high quality materials. So I think 140 is fair but if you're patient and not too picky maybe wait until they come down in price a little bit. Alright so in conclusion I want to know, share your thoughts and opinions. What do you think about the Climacool Ventos? Are you a fan of the silhouette? Are you impressed enough to maybe make the leap? Get one of these? And what do you think about the triple black colorway? Are there any other colorways you prefer? Or are you going to be waiting for more colors to release? Which I'm pretty sure there will be plenty of. Do you think these are worth the price? Personally, I say yes, but just barely. Like I said before, wait maybe till you got a coupon or they come down in price. I think they'll be really worth it. So leave those comments below, share your opinions, let me know what you think, and please subscribe if you haven't yet. I really appreciate that support. Let's keep it going. And if you enjoy the video, please thumbs it up. And of course, I'll catch you on the next one.